أعوذ بالله والله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم is your boy black plight for you see the title we're talking today about AI and the effects of AI on the Muslim community you probably already know and heard about it all around the world there is a chat GPT product that's out and many people with this chat GT, GPT product are wildly impressed by what its capabilities are and what it can do they're saying how it's revolutionizing the industry of coding and different things like that this revolution of automation through artificial intelligence is bringing up a new term for us as Muslims we're not afraid of technology at all, but when you think about this element of how technology has affected our community, this one term that we use is check Google. My prediction is, is that we're gonna be calling our new check, check GPT. And how is this dangerous for the community? Well, let me explain to you one way it is. It's dangerous in the fact that our children don't have currently a lot of Islamic role models. We're very weak in this area. And on top of that, being weak for role models is such, it's important that we note that the information that's being gathered is put into a pipeline where we are then using automation and queries to pull this data. The data it comes from already bad sources because internet searches for Islam very tainted and political that means that the ai if it's pulling from an internet source which more than likely it will will the information will be tainted and corrupt because of this political line that's being drawn through our artificial intelligence and the use of artificial intelligence for gathering islamic sharia fatwas as well as other things in islam we're going to see that we're going to have a lot of people being misled by the rise of AI and its implementation in our community unless we take strong positions to counter this. Now, as a Muslim, the best way to do it as of today and has it been since the rise of the dot-com and the Internet is getting our information through a primary source, a book, a text. This year we've lost a lot of critical sheikhs that have passed away, Allah and not given us the opportunity to truly benefit and create a defense of the rise of AI. As our community begins to accept artificial intelligence, please be aware that accepting it to the full degree and allowing Sheikh GPT to come in our world might be a problem. Now, I've done a series of tests. So far, we're safe. It doesn't have access to Quran as of yet. It can't give us tafsir. And hadith is something that it doesn't really do at all. But this is coming soon, brothers and sisters. And I'm sending this video out to tell you to be ready. Be ready for the future of your future Sheikh Chat. Sheikh Chat GPT. <laughs> it's your brother Umar. Stay vigilant. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.